Number 1. Central Debra Gold Mine This mine near Bendigo's city center yielded almost a metric ton of gold between 1939 and 1954. The Central Debra Gold Mine opened during a revival of the city's gold industry, and work continued even during the Second World War. Number 2. Bendigo Art Gallery Inaugurated way back in 1887, the Bendigo Art Gallery grew out of the Volunteer Rifle Room and has been extended over time. The most recent addition was the Arresting Sculpture Gallery added in 2001 and designed by Melbourne's Fender Consolidus Architects. Number 3 Bendigo Chinese Gardens Reserve and Golden Dragon Museum Bendigo has had a Chinese community since the days of the Gold Rush, and the museum chronicling this Chinese heritage is actually on the site of one of early Bendigo's Chinatowns. This attraction opened in 1991 and looks at the lives of these citizens, and how Chinese culture has influenced the city from the 1850s to the present. Number 4 Lake Waruna From the 1850s to the 1870s one of the loveliest spots in Bendigo was actually a mine. Then in 1878 the art director of the Melbourne Botanic Gardens oversaw this site's transformation into an 18-hectare body of water. Number 5 Bendigo Tramways In their time the Bendigo Tramways have been powered by battery, then steam and then electricity since 1903. In the post-war years the network proved too expensive to run as a commuter service, and it finally closed down in 1972 to be reborn as a heritage line. Number 6 Rosalind Park Bordering Bendigo CBD is more than 60 hectares of lawns and mature trees, all scattered with amenities and historic monuments. The space that is now Rosalind Park is in a valley along Bendigo Creek and because of its permanent freshwater pools would have been vital to the area's Ja Ja Rung people way before the arrival of Europeans. Number 7 Bendigo Botanic Gardens the city's first public garden was founded as long ago as 1857. The site, a few minutes northeast of the CBD, appears on maps from 1854, just three years after gold was discovered in Bendigo. The lake at the center of the park is a remnant of Bendigo Creek and is wreathed in indigenous wetland species. Number 8 Bendigo Pottery Australia's oldest working pottery was established in Bendigo in 1858 and after a few ups and downs in the intervening years has experienced a revival since the 1970s. In that time Bendigo pottery has become a byword for quality and innovation. Number 9 Sacred Heart Cathedral Bendigo's gold explains how a relatively small provincial city like this could have a church of such incredible dimensions. This stupendous Gothic revival building was begun in 1897 and would be completed 70 years later, after work was interrupted by the two world wars. Number 10 Science and Technology Center This science museum in Bendigo is all about interactivity and learning through play. So, almost without realizing, kids can get acquainted with scientific ideas at more than 100 whimsical exhibits. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.